Hello Leo, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Very soon could represent something unexpected that's going to happen very soon. It could also represent you being faced with a very difficult decision on top of that, but we'll see what it's more so leaning towards. Leo, let's focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your person. How does Leo currently view this relationship? Okay, we have the Ten of Swords, we got the Four of Wands, and then we also have the Chariot, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Strength card, we also have the Six of Swords, and then we also have the Five of Cups, all right? For some of you, you could be dealing with another Leo, possibly a Gemini, maybe even an Aries. We also have Scorpio and Pisces out here, and Cancer. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the King of Wands, we got the Ten of Wands, and then we also have the uh, Nine of Pentacles. I gotta be honest, I gotta be honest, I gotta be honest. Uh, whoever this person is that you were once upon a time connecting with, they have a lot of ego and a lot of pride. That's one thing that I will say. It's pretty evident that things basically came to an end here between you and this person. And I feel like this person's really trying their hardest to not allow this ending between you and them to affect them and or bother them. But truth be told, it is. Oh boy, is it really affecting them and bothering them. But I feel like they're too busy trying to portray this image like they're perfectly fine, like they're so unbothered by this ending here that took place here between you and them. But I'm sorry, you're coming across as a queen of pentacles and on top of that we have the ten of cups attached to you. That's kind of telling me right there that... This is somebody who obviously was extremely emotionally invested uh, when it came down to you and the relationship that they once upon a time shared with you. On top of that, your person's coming across as a king of wands. You're coming across as a queen of pentacles. I kind of feel like this person, for the most part, looks at you as somebody who has everything that they could possibly want within a person and then some. So the fact that they're playing it off like, I don't really care. I don't really care. I don't care, uh, is, is BS to me, to be completely honest, but I'm pretty sure that's going to show up on this person's end. Just, let's just give it some time. Let's not try to rush the process here, right? Um, with the strength card to the six of swords, to the five of cups, to the ten of swords, to the four of wands, to the chariot, you know, even though this ending between you and this person really does suck, Leo, you're really trying your hardest to just keep it moving, to be completely honest. Granted, it hurts. Granted, it sucks. But you're really trying your hardest to just continue to move forward and move on with your life. Um, I also kind of feel like, you know, for the vast majority of you, you could very well just be keeping yourself extremely busy slash occupied, possibly even with work. So that way you're not sitting around dwelling on this ending that just took place here between you and this person. But... You're trying your hardest, dude, to really move forward and really move on with your life, all right? I also kind of feel like this whole entire situation hurts even more because of the way this person's um, handling this whole entire situation. You know, just by looking at them, I think that anybody would assume that this person could honestly care less about you in this ending. Uh, and that could very well be adding on to the, this pain that you're feeling due to this whole entire ending that's taking place between you and this person. But... This is literally just a front that this person's basically putting on. Uh, they're being greatly affected by this ending here. That's kind of besides the point, but they're just too busy trying to portray this image like, oh yeah, I'm perfectly fine. I don't need Leo. I'm going to be perfectly fine without them. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. But again, this is somebody who has a lot of ego and a lot of pride. Uh, how does this person currently feel? We have the Judgment card. We also have the High Priestess. And then we also have the uh, Seven of Cups. Hmm. Let's look at Judgment. I feel like there's something that this person wants to do. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure it has a lot to do with you. But there's something that this person wants to do. But I feel like they're kind of questioning themselves on whether or not they should even see whatever this thing is through. So let's look into that because I do kind of feel like it has a lot to do with you. Tell me more about judgment. We have the page of wands and then we also have the star. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, eight of wands. 
there's like an overall energy of them wanting to contact you slash reach out to you but they're kind of questioning whether or not they even should see i knew that there was something that this person wanted to do but they're just like Ugh, i don't know should i they were kind of second guessing themselves i mean they still are second guessing themselves on whether or not they should reach out to you or if they should just kind of leave you alone it kind of looks like that's something that this person's really trying to figure out but with the start to the page of wands i feel like this is what they're hoping for they're hoping that you would basically contact them and reach out to them but i gotta be honest i just don't see you reaching out to them i don't see you reaching out to them so they're currently contemplating like should i reach out to leo or should i just keep things as is and just keep it moving like what should i do what should i do they're trying to figure out what to do here all right um how does leo currently feel we have the five of pentacles we also have the three of cups and then we also have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck we do have the ten of swords and then we also have the nine of pentacles do you feel really hurt and betrayed by this person you really really do and there's just that overall energy of you coming to terms with the fact that you know maybe you were just surrounding yourself with somebody who didn't necessarily have your best interests at heart you know leo that's definitely a possibility but i kind of feel like now that this person's out of the picture you're able to see things a lot more clearly now you're able to see you know that this person in particular wasn't actually worth somebody even keeping around to be completely honest and these are things that you're coming to terms with on your own now that this person's out the picture you're able to kind of see things uh a little bit more clearly now a little bit more clearly now a lot of you feel like you're actually better off without this person being in your life on top of that. Again, even though it may suck, even though it may hurt, because it does, because we're not going to sit here and say that you never cared about this person because I feel like you cared for this person deeply. But, you know, I think that you're just kind of looking at the grand scheme of it all and you're starting to kind of realize, you know what, this person doesn't really care about me. They don't really have my best interests at heart. I'm tired of going through this with this person. You know, this is like an overall energy of you choosing you. Even though you choosing you sucks because you love them and because you care about them, you, you feel like at this point you honestly have no choice. You can't continue to surround yourself with people who don't care about you, who don't have your best interests at heart, who are not going to be there for you because that's kind of how you're looking at this whole entire situation like i said this person whether this is a family member friend or a love interest right they are clearly being affected by this ending here between you and them but they're just too busy trying to kind of portray this image like they could honestly care less about what's currently going on here between you and them um which in a way, all it's honestly doing is giving you that time and that space and that clarity to honestly look at your situation clearly now. And you're starting to come to terms with a lot of things, um, especially when it comes on to this person in particular and everything that you had to go through with this person and how your relationship with this person really did affect you greatly. That's why a lot of you are basically feeling like you're better off without this person being in your life. And it does hurt because again, it's not like you didn't care about this person because I feel like you cared about this person a lot, but a lot of you are just kind of coming to terms with the fact that, you know, you're better off without them being in your life. What actions? We have the hangman. We have the three of pentacles, and then we also have the sun. At the bottom of the deck, we have the eight of wands, and then we also have the eight of cups again. All right. What actions? Well, this, I mean, what actions will Leo take towards this person or moving forward? We have the King of Pentacles. We also have the Temperance card. And then we also have the Wheel of Fortune. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the King of Swords. We also have the Two of Wands. And then we have the Knight of Wands. And then we also have the Emperor. I love this overall energy that you're stepping into. You're harnessing a lot of masculine energy moving forward. Now, don't get caught up in the gender because you could totally be a female for all I know. But... With the emperor being out here, you're taking back control of your life. And you're coming to terms with the fact that not everybody is deserving to be in your life, Leo. And you are cutting a lot of people off along the way, including this person in particular. Now, with all of that being said, as you're removing the things that don't necessarily serve your highest good anymore out of your life, you're starting to notice a drastic difference within your overall energy. But most importantly, within your environment, you're starting to notice that calmness, that peace that you didn't necessarily have while surrounding yourself with this person and or people. 
Now, as things start to really fall into place here for you, Leo, don't be surprised. Do not be surprised when this person tries to come back around your way and try to wiggle their way back into your life all over again, to be completely honest. Don't be surprised when that happens because... I do see it happening. I do see this person, for the most part, trying to wiggle their way back into your life all over again. It's almost in a sense where they're kind of having a light bulb moment, like, ooh, I know what I'm going to say. I know exactly what I'm going to say to try to get Leo back into my life all over again. So I want to, I mean, I know that it's not going to, like, pinpoint word for word what this person's going to say, but it's like an overall energy of having a light bulb moment, like, ooh, I know what I'm going to tell Leo. So it does kind of have that, that feel to it. Uh, tell me more about the hangman. Yeah, they're having a light bulb moment. Just keep that in mind. They're having a light bulb moment. It's like, ooh, I know exactly what I'm going to say to Leo to get them to let me back into their life all over again. I know exactly what I'm going to say. Okay. Leo, I think that through this whole entire experience that you just had with this person... It has put a lot of things into perspective for you. It really, really has. Now, free will, do what you want. If you choose to let this person back into your life all over again, Leo, that's perfectly fine. It's entirely up to you. But I would think long and hard about that before you just let this person back into your life all over again as if all of this didn't happen, all right? So just, just keep that in mind because it's like the moment, dude, like the moment you release this person out of your life is the moment that you start to notice things drastically change, uh, you know, within your own within your own overall energy but also within your environment there's just this sense of calmness and this sense of peace that's basically kind of coming over you now that you're getting rid of the people and the things that don't necessarily serve your highest good so for you to get dragged right back into that situation all over again obviously i'm gonna want the best for you so i'm gonna tell you Ugh, i don't think that it's a good idea but then again it's your life do what you want with it i just want to see you guys thrive and succeed and remain in this overall energy of calmness and peace you know because things are really starting to fall into place here for you leo and i want it to stay that way but this person is going to try to wiggle their way back into your life all over again. It is coming from a place of, ooh, I know exactly what I'm going to tell them and exactly what I'm going to say. And I know that it's going to work on Leo. I know if I say this and this and this and this, it's going to work. And they're going to they're gonna come running right back to me all over again. Like, it, it does kind of have that feel to it, to be completely honest. And even then, it's like, they're still kind of contemplating, like, mm, should I really say that? Is it really going to work? Like, I think it's going to work. Like, it does kind of have that feel to it. More of the story is, is that this person wants back in. They want back in. They want back in. Now, whether or not you decide to let them back in, that's entirely up to you. But I love the fact that you're regaining control over the things that you actually have control of. You know, in this case, you're surrounding yourself with people that don't necessarily serve your highest good. And that's something that you have full-blown control over, right? And that's exactly what we see you doing here. You're taking back control of your life. You're surrounding yourself with people who actually love you, support you, and care for you. And you're getting rid of the people who don't. You know what I mean? Um, and like I said, you know, it's bringing that sense of balance into your life. It's bringing that sense of peace. It just kind of looks like things are actually falling into place even now. Even more now for you because you're getting rid of the things that don't serve your highest good anymore. In other words, I feel like you're heading down the right path, Leo. I want to see you to continue to remain on that path that you're currently on. Just be aware that this person's going to try to wiggle their way back into your life all over again. Um, again, I want to see you guys thrive. I want to see you guys do good. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I don't think it's a good idea to let this person back into your life. But then again, you know, it's your, it's your life. You do what you want with it. But just be mindful that, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to come back around your way. We have getting to know each other, which is very, very similar to like the Three of Pentacles and Tarot. This is like an overall energy of coming together, working as a team. It could also represent rebuilding and or repairing something, which is what this person wants. But they're trying to figure out, all right, what do I say to Leo? What do I say to Leo? What do I say? Ooh, I know. This is what I'm going to say to Leo. And even then, it's like they're still unsure if that's even going to work. They're still unsure if that's even going to work. More of the story is, is that they want back in. They want back in all over again. But they're not entirely sure if their plan is going to work out in their favor here. 
So then there's that, Leo. So just be mindful of that. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below. Uh, good luck to you, Leo, moving forward, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.